Um, so we're gonna get to our social media topic for the day. Mm. Mm. Got some uh some good some good stuff for you guys. Talk to him. Talk to him. So we got our social media topic, guys. We're gonna go through. We're gonna go through the five things that we think are great about social media that make our lives better, and then the five things that don't. So I got five. So I got a total of ten. Josh got five and ten. So uh, I'll let Josh go through his his first good five first. Okay. And uh, we'll see where we line up. Um. So. I would say five good things about social media is staying connected with current friends and old friends. Uh, I can definitely appreciate this from, from, from what social media gives you. It gives you a, a, a look and it, get, it keeps you about like a finger or two away from just about everyone, which <laughs> a is great. Tap away. Stay, <laughs> a double tap away. You get to stay current on what's PM going away. in and on in people's lives. So I think that's really great because I live in Florida now. You still live in New York. Like, you know what I mean? Like things are just a little different in everybody's lives. And as things get moving pieces, it's just kind of cool to stay current. Mm-hmm. Um, the next thing I had is like, I met Kim off of social media. Yes, you so did. like, who am I to say anything negative about social media? Mm-hmm. Uh, so I think I love how it, it it's allowing you to meet people that you may have not met um, on your casual walk to work. Um, yep. Current events at your fingertips. I love getting my quick hitter, my one-liners. I was never a news guy, but I get to know what's going on in the world pretty much because of the way I filtered my my timeline and the information I get from that. So I love getting current events mm-hmm. um, at my fingertips. Uh, the latest in fashion and just clothing and styles. Um, you get to see different looks. You get, like, uh-huh. and, and, and when I say latest in fashion, I'm not talking about Birkin bags and, and Fendi and, and Dior. I'm talking about like just the way people put together different combinations of denim. Maybe Dior, the way people Dior. wear t-shirts or hoodies. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, li- I like to see the way fashion. Um, and, and it's like global fashion. It's not just like Brooklyn fashion and foam posits, right? And then the last thing I would say is- Yo, you know you're <laughs> from New York, right? You know, you understand that this is- where you I've, like, I've never owned phone positives in my life you know that right that's 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 your fault that's that's, that's heavy ass fault. i'm gonna Stories. wear my shit i'm gonna wear my shit today just that's from, disgusting from please don't do that don't wear my shit today. <laughs> niggas are gonna be like yo Juan's nas definitely won a grammy last night didn't he and you're gonna be like facts Come celebration on, time on. look at my feet um, my last one was just instant sports highlights man i remember growing up as a kid like to see the best plays of the night you would have to wait till the late game of Sports Center was over, and then watched the entire forty-five minutes of Sports Center just to see the top ten. You yeah. remember that? That that Big was facts. the time. Yep. That, like that was that was a process to see the top dunks of the night, the best passes of the night. That you had to wait forty-five minutes. You might have seen it in the passing of, of the yeah. highlights, but to see all top ten or the best uh, baseball catches. Or the best baseball catches or, or the or the dingers. You know what I'm saying? Like you had to wait to the yeah. end of the night. That was but now it's like yo, Anthony Edwards just put so and so on a poster and it's right here. Yep. So um those are my those are my five uh goods for social media. What do you got? All right. So for my five good things, a lot of ours match up. So the first, of course, staying connected with people. It's easy. Mm-hmm. You double tap if somebody's doing something fly in their story, you can show them love. Show him some appreciation. I did that like last night with uh, this guy I know, like major trainer dude, like making great moves. Just like hit him up, say, "Hey man, I Josh, you doing. yeah." Shout mm-hmm. out to Josh, man. Big shout, shout to Josh. Josh. So yeah. he won that. Con- so he won that uh, competition, and that was cool. Yeah, I gotta get him cool. on the pod. I'm gonna, gonna yeah. I'm gonna convince him to get on the pod. Hop on the pod. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's get a little Jay in there. Absolutely, Josh Josh. his energy is so high, man. I don't know. High. <laughs> I don't he know. Might he might run you at the up. gym. He might run you at the gym. Yo, we he might, run, he might run me off the mic. We Shit. might need a micro dose of Josh. Yeah, gonna tell him like, listen, man, like, just, just, we need fifty percent of you. Just fifty percent. That's Yo, it. We, just, we need, we need the nine p.m. fitness class, not the seven a.m. <laughs> you feel 9 me? Nine p.m. super lit too. Shit, it's nine p.m. be bumping. Super bumping. Um. For me, the second thing, a deeper look into the artists that we like, musical artists, you see kind of where the their creation, their creative inspiration comes from, whether it's family or other things they like or other artists they like. You know, I've been put onto a lot of different things on social media, music wise, because of what right, you know, an right. artist likes. 
Um, I love that. Easier to meet people, less pressure. You know, I, I met, you know, my partner on a social media site. It was a dating site, but it's considered social media. Right. And it kind of takes the pressure away of being out when you don't want to be out. Um, and, you know, you're kind of all there for the same purpose when it comes to like a dating site. Like you're all, well, not all for the same purpose. Most people are there for the same purpose. You know, some people are just looking to hook up. Some people are just looking, you know, get a you know quick little three or four strokes off and bounce. Uh, but, you know, you can kind of weed that out through conversation. And, you know, I was able to do that. I had a question for you. What's that? Off, off, off mic, off mic question. Okay, copy that. Um, and Patreon then... Content. <laughs> Patreon. <laughs> Not free content. Uh, also, like, the spread of information um, is really good also. You know, important information <clears throat> can spread quickly. You can get to know what you need to know really fast, which is great. And then the, op- the opportunities to self-promote, right? Like, we don't have to rely on anybody to promote certain shit. We can just do it ourselves. If we frame it the right way, market it the right way, produce it the right way, you know, we can be successful doing that ourselves right right right, you know, right. With, a, with a camera on our phone and a microphone right in front of us you know we can produce things that we're passionate about and that we know we know we're presenting ourselves in the in the right light the light that we're comfortable with as opposed to having to rely on somebody else for that uh which was the which was the case back in the day so those are my five good i, I like uh, your i like your five good man and yeah. that one that one um i i didn't think of it's 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 how today i think we saw it right after the pandemic too um like just how many people can just do make a business um yep. start a page get paid and do it from their crib um mm-hmm. so definitely want to highlight social media for just employment opportunities that is provided for well, thousands right a lot of people a lot of like it's, people. it's like social media has changed like like i have a lot of i'm, I'm on a negative tip with social media right now but like social media does have a lot of positives in terms of the impact that it has like it's created wealth for a lot of people yes um and that's something that we've never like it's never been like that's a stream of income we've never even counted before so now we have people making millions off of social media so i want to shout out that the fact that it's it's boosting the economy so to say right like it's cool it's another avenue so i want to give it its flowers while it's here even though it has a lot of negatives give me your negatives so my negatives number one it's addictive um, it's very easy to go down so many rabbit holes <laughs> on social media. And, uh, sometimes you are not present in the moment because you're going down all these rabbit holes and yeah. then your girl's like, it's a rabbit hole central, man. The girl's like, did you just come over here to look at your phone? Talk to me. <laughs> nah, are you even watching this movie? Get over your right. phone. Right. Post right. that video later. Right. All right. All that stuff like that. So it can be addictive. Um, people are just too accessible and make themselves too available. There's no reason, yeah. no reason, no reason, no reason at all. I should ever have to lose sleep because I'm like, you know, responding to a DM or, you know, looking for likes or looking for comments or anything like that. Like people are just too accessible and I am not accessible. <laughs> I am not after a certain period of time. I'm not accessible. Right. And I think that's OK. I think people forget we used to live in a time where I'd speak to you. Saw you. I didn't speak to you or see you for 12 hours. That's including my work shift and including travel time. I didn't see you or talk to you for 12 hours. Yeah. And nobody died. It was okay. You know what I'm saying? Like now it's, you know, if the, if the response isn't quick enough, or if let's say I post something on social media, but I don't respond to a text, then it's like, well, you can respond to social media, but you can't respond to a text. I think right. people need to realize it's, it's a different, you can scroll through social media and not reply to a text simply because you just, at the moment- it's your motherfucking have, right. Stop it. Stop don't it right have there. It's your right. It's bandwidth your right. or the ability or the mental framework or stability to reply to that text message. Right. Like the is, other night, it, I had um, I had a homegirl texting me, and it wasn't that late. It was probably like 8, 30, 9 o'clock. Yeah. But I was just I checked lied. out for the day. Right. And I just told myself, like, I'm going to have this conversation in the morning. And that's okay. Right. And that's okay. That's and I had to fine. learn that, too. I had to learn that because I used to make, like, the reason why um, 
this whole social like I'm, I'm on a bad kick with social media is because I realized that for like the last 10 years, right? I've just been engulfed in social media. Mm-hmm. It's just been, it's been part of my, my every single for a decade fam, which there's nothing wrong with it. But for me personally, I just didn't like that. The fact that like, I was like, yo, like I've been given up just like my life, like a, a live look into every single thing that, that transpires into my life here and there on mm-hmm. social media. And um, it just didn't make me f- feel good. Right. So like, that's why yeah. like I'm just like, kind of like detaching myself from it. Um, because there used, like you said, there used to be a time where we didn't update people on every single thing that we did and nobody died. You could, I mean, you, there used to be a time where you didn't have to respond back to a a, a message and it wouldn't be taken personal because someone wasn't able to see that I was doing other things, but responding to them. Right. Yes. Like yesterday I was sitting with Kim and, um, somebody texted her and we, we sat down, looked at the message and, and she's like, yeah, I'm going to respond back in, in, in a little bit. And she forgot naturally. Mm-hmm. And that person like in an hour double texted her and it was like, but with spice. And it's like, fam, like here we are in 2021 feeling entitled that if I send something to you, that you Trevor Mason have to stop and do what you're doing and respond back in a timely immediately. manner. Immedi- because if I'm you not did not like immediately, immediate, because if for whatever reason you did not respond back in that timely manner, you weren't busy. You, you don't like me. I don't like you. I don't want to talk to you ever you, again. Yeah, Stop you're playing rude. on my phone. Right. 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 I'm and just it's not just accessible. Like, that's just how we that's just how we're trained right now. And I want to get myself away from that, right? I want to get myself away from the conditioning that we've been conditioned under to like receive a message and be like, damn, like, yo, so and so curved me. No, so and so is busy, and so and so has like, or just at eight thirty, they didn't have the bandwidth to have this full conversation right now. Or maybe they probably they had a rough day, or a long day, or they're tired. Maybe they did. Or maybe they didn't curve. Yo, get better at dealing thing. with maybe rejection. <laughs> right, right. Get that's better at dealing with rejection when you get curved. That's a that's a lesson, also. Absolutely, it's it's a thing, man. And, and you know, like I think social media just requires a healthy balance. That's yes. Indeed. That's 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 what I would say. So the the third thing I have is oversharing. Mm. We touched on that a little bit in the last topic. You don't need to share everything. You know, if if you're if you're crying on an Instagram video, you shouldn't be. I, I think you're fine. I think the act of recording yourself crying and then Paul and then stopping it, stopping the video, and then reviewing it and approving <laughs> that this video is good, is sick. You're like, do I look sad enough? Let me try. I think that's again. sick. I think that's <laughs> sick. I think it's... recording yourself crying, like the like, because if you strip it down to what it is, this is what you're doing. You're you're going to your phone. You're pressing record. Mm-hmm. Then you're crying, and then you're looking into the and you're looking into the camera. You're just holding the camera so it can ca- capture this moment of you crying. Then you so like, is it the moment or is it the recording? I don't know what it is right now. Then you stop recording, and then you look at that video. And you're like, post. That's some primo crying right there. Primo. Look at That's those tears. That's sick to me. That's Extra salty. To me. It is sick. It's a, it's, it's a sick thing. It's, um, there's nothing oh, wrong sure. with you if you can post a crying video on Instagram. You're totally fine. You're totally okay. Totally in control of what you're doing and how you're thinking. We don't have to, like, and the thing is, like, I want to, I want to, I'm trying to look at this on both sides of the coin. It may be you're right. Right? It's it not. may be you're right. It's not. Don't do it. Don't ever do it. I'm gonna I'm a give it, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna chalk it up to it's your right. But it's your right to do a lot of shit. Doesn't mean it's but okay. Chill, yeah, it don't mean it's okay. That's not okay. Um, the next thing I have reduced standards for communicating. Um, a lot of times when you spend a lot of time on social media, it's hard to talk to people after that because you talk in, you know, little sound bites, little quips. Sometimes you communicate in memes, you communicate in likes. Some people really think like, like liking something is communication. And if you don't like something, that's also communication. That's an indication that you don't like them as a person, not necessarily that they're oversharing, you know? So reduce standards of communicating. People don't know how to talk to each other, especially kids, uh, kids younger than us, you know, kids in their 20s, 18, 19, 20. Talking to them is hard. It's, it's hard. It's impossible. It's very difficult. Um, 
And then the last thing I have is hero worship, uh, living and breathing based on the actions of your favorite artist. So if you're a Cardi B fan, you know, dressing or moving or talking like Cardi B, and I need to let people know something like talking and dressing and acting like Cardi B only works for one person. Cardi, Cardi B. <laughs> That's it. Like you don't have her talent. You don't have her work ethic. You don't have a privilege. So be you. Just be, be you. Happier. Be you, be happier. Be you and be happy, you know? Um, but that's what I got for my five, my five bad. What are your five bad? Um, a lot of yours. Uh, a lot of yours. Um, and as, as you were saying, I was thinking, I was just like clout, man. People doing shit for the camera. People doing things for likes. I think that's mm-hmm. a sick place that we're in right now just doing shit because we want the approval of others right like what social Mm -hmm. media i feel like has done is made us um less okay with ourselves and more reliant on those um who see us right so like like me me landing a gig or audition right in 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 the social media world right me landing a gig or audition is like that could be something i can hold in eternally and have it Right. But why do I feel like the need I have to celebrate that on social media with everyone? Right. Like we just overshare. We just give so much. Um, and I just it's just a lot. It's a lot. And we do things for like we do things for people to to make us feel good. We, we, we yeah. post things so people can validate us. We, like and we've lost our connection and our communication with ourselves, our approval with ourselves. It's like, yo, like, do I like this phone? Let me ask Instagram if I like this phone instagram do i like this phone like that's where we are right now and it's like so like we're not living lives for ourselves anymore we're living lives for people and i think that's why i say like we need to have that healthy balance the other thing man is just like it's superficial man like don't forget social media is a highlight reel i'm posting my best picture i'm posting my best accomplishment i'm posting my best chick i'm posting my best fit (laughs) i'm posting my best my best my best you feel me of course back in the day you don't post the b's you post nobody's nobody's posting a six Come on, you, po- you know what I'm saying? So everyone's giving you their best. And that's just not the real depiction of this world. You yep. know it, I know it, we know it. So it's very hard now when you when we spend, when Instagram tells you you spend six to eight hours a day on your phone and you're like, damn, I spent six to eight hours of just not living in the real world for a second. Yeah. That's, you you know, know? It, it creeps up on you too because you think of it as like little, like little moments and seconds. Right? Yeah, like I'm yeah scroll. just a quickie. Yeah. yeah, but then it adds up. Yeah. And it just, it's not, I just, I personally feel like it's not the healthiest place for your mental health. 